Yo, 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 what's up? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna hop back into the hard body videos. So we got a few things I want to do on this truck to get ready for some stuff we gotta do to it, like a future, soon future video. But the truck has AC stuff still. Obviously, there was that one line that you guys saw a while back that was like broken when I got the truck. But given that that AC stuff is gonna be in the way of what I want to do, well, it really isn't but it is <laughs> so i want to go ahead and get the rest of the ac lines out ac condenser all the lines here the compressor off and the bracket all that stuff and the belt clearly all removed so we can make some room for it i'm just gonna say it guys we're turboing this truck i told you we we're gonna be turboing it and it's gonna happen real soon we already have some parts that we need for the turbo setup that Max Speed and Rods send us out for the D21 hard body build. So, which is great because the channel's been real low lately. I mean, there's been a couple videos that have done really good, but there's been a lot of lows in it because I have been inconsistent with the channel. But, guys, I'm telling you, like, it's about to have a big change with the content on like builds. Like, we're going to be doing like content build stuff. Like content car kind of thing like we're gonna get vehicles fix them up build them up have some fun with them sell them trade them whatever we have to do and that's what we're gonna be doing for a while maybe one day you know we can do a giveaway for one of you guys so um but yeah i'm gonna put you guys up on the tripod and start with taking off some ac lines well the grill probably first ac lines from that get the condenser out of the way cut the belt off and then start pulling more AC stuff out of here. So, and some of this AC stuff is going to be going on another vehicle, on another D21. So, can't break anything, but get stuff out of the way. The belt, I don't care about the belt, it's not good anyway. So, yeah, enough talking. Up on the tripod, let's get to work. There's one line. Don't know if they're good. Well, probably not. Jeez. Look at that right there, yo. You see it on camera right there. Look at that. Damn. Oh, well. It is what it is. Lines out of the way. Uh, oh, Looks like it's on the inside. Yep. Oh, right there. So much more room for activities up there, which is good. Because we need all the room we can get back here. I'm telling you. <laughs> but yeah. Oh. Now we got this line right here that runs through here. Goes to here. So I'm gonna get this air box off now. And then we can get these lines out of the way. And then we can work on the rest of the stuff that 
down there, like the AC compressor and the bracket and all that. So, this all out of the way. Yep. Okay, now we got some more room. So, and then we got a lot of like EGR and stuff like that there, and the EVAP and everything that needs to get removed too. But let's do one thing at a time. Let's get these AC lines removed. And another one out of the way. Now, let's get this big one here off and continue. But before I get that off, I'm gonna go ahead and move these pens right here. And another one. So, looks like pretty much the AC condenser and lines is off. All that will be left now is the AC compressor and that bracket. Yeah. I want to get rid of this clutch fan because it's all messed up and put an electric fan on it. But, I had to wait for parts to come in for that. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and um, cut that belt and get this compressor removed off and all that stuff. Alright guys, so before I move forward, I went ahead and put the air box back on it just so nothing gets in there. We don't need any debris getting in here, especially because we're under a bunch of trees out here, you know? So, yeah, got that on there. And go from there. I would like to find an S13 single cam intake manifold and ECU and all that stuff. So if anyone has one, let me know. Just Instagram me. You know, and you know, hit me up. Cardu Garage on IG. If you're not following me on IG, go ahead. Because I'm going to start posting a lot more behind the scenes stuff on there. I'm really trying to take this whole YouTube and social media stuff pretty serious. So, yeah. Go ahead and shoot me a follow. And I'll do, in the next 24 hours, any video. After, in the next 24 hours after this video goes live, whoever follows me and hits me up, like DMs me, I will follow back. So... Yeah, let's do it. But let's cut that belt off. You know what I was just thinking when I was cutting this belt off? Man, these belts are new to look like. Um, <laughs> what if I cut the wrong belt? <laughs> I mean, it, it would suck because then at the moment, but we were going to be replacing that belt anyways because we're going to be doing the water pump and timing belt. I mean, water pump and valve cover and all that stuff on it but yeah just would have sucked <laughs> for the moment at least yeah let's go ahead and unbolt the ac compressor and get it out of the way we got a couple plugs that we got to do so let's get this unplugged here real quick boom boom that's unplugged now just four bolts and i believe they're just 14 mils so got that right here There's one. Boom. Let's see if I can get this one. No. Of course not. Why would it? Fit? It's alright. We'll keep it old school. Two. Now the other two are underneath, which is really gonna suck because the ground is. Here, let me move you guys up so you can see me. Um, the other two are from the bottom, so you got one coming this way, one coming this way, and then one here and one here. The bottom is gonna suck because it's kind of raining. It's been for the last few days, and the ground is wet. But you know, sometimes you gotta do what you don't want to do. I definitely don't want to lay in this mud, but we got to. We got to get it done. So, just do it.
All right, so I'm gonna cheat a little bit, but it's just gonna soak through that. It's all good. Let's see if I can get down here and get it done. Two more bolts, and she's out of there. Get some of the stuff out of the way. Like always, got a Milwaukee, so this is gonna suck, guys. This is gonna suck. Oh, yep. Okay. Um. I'm gonna see if I can find a piece of cardboard or something inside that I can lay down. Give me a second. Alright guys, I'm just gonna have to deal with it a little bit, unfortunately. But <clears throat> I got my jacket on. That should help. But I'm gonna have a wet ass for sure. But it is what it is. Go ahead and crawl up under this thing. Ooh, that's cold. I got a wet ass. Alrighty, there she is. Oh, nice. Come on. There's the AC compressor, and there's that one line that broke. Get it out of here. I don't need it on this truck. The bracket needs to come off. So let's see what I need to get that off. Now, one more bolt. And it should come off. No, two more bolts. Yeah, four bolts, so. I want my third one coming out now. Got one more. Let's see if we can get to it. Socket. There it is. The whole bracket's set up for it. So, all right, guys. So I'll show you here. It's easier to show it. You got those two bolts on the bottom. Two here, 14s. Two top bolts here. Two bottom bolts here for the bracket. That's pretty much it. And they're all 14 for everything. And then this is your tensioner for the AC compressor belt. But this thing's got some weight to it. Cleans up the side of the engine some, and yeah, we're gonna be doing engine mounts on this thing soon. I'm gonna build some solid mounts for it. We're gonna be doing some engine mounts on it. I got solid motor mounts that I'm gonna be building for it. So yeah, hopefully, guys, you guys are excited for the hard body stuff and the mini truck and things. Like we're gonna be doing a lot of bag trucks, a lot of static trucks, drift trucks, drag trucks, just a bunch of stuff with them and then later on we'll get into stuff with the honda like i said i got parts for it too that i gotta do on it like suspension stuff just finding a place to do it because i gotta get that up in the air and then i gotta get an alignment because i just got four new tires put on the car i don't know if i showed anybody that i know i didn't make a video on it but um when i got the tires for the hard body i got tires for the accord so we put new tires on the accord as well so yep, brand new tires on this thing so got them from tire streets so this had a 235 50 17 on it before i went to a 225 45 17 and the fitment's a lot better so like i said i have suspension stuff for this car so we got to get all that situated and 
put on the truck or on the car and we're getting the alignment done on it so but yeah got the head off got everything i wanted off so i gotta put the battery back and this oh my i didn't even look down in here and notice this rust sheesh damn boy oh well don't see that down there look at that <laughs> typical nissan stuff i guess huh <laughs> It is what it is, y'all. It does its job. So, gotta get something to push that on there. If it works, it works, right? That's good. I want to replace this whole terminal setup on it, anyways. But, yeah. Nice. AC stuff. Is completely off the truck it gives us room for things and stuff and just lightens up the engine less drive on your engine whoa what is up with this look at that guys look at see the alternator see it moving let's see if I can get you guys a better shot from the back see it moving that's a lot of movement y'all look at that Maybe I need to look into that. Let's see why that's doing that. That might be the belt squeal that we're having the issue with. So, because I tighten the belt up and everything, you know, and it's still squealing. But, yeah, that's it for that one. I got everything off the truck that I wanted to get off the truck. Now, I just slap the grill back on, put the coolant reservoir back in that spot, clean up my mess, edit a video, and then we'll continue doing what we're doing. So. Definitely gonna do that. So, I'll go ahead and clean this up and get to editing. So, no, it ain't a lot of like crazy exciting content right now, guys. But this is the process that needs to happen before we turbo the truck. So, it's just something that needs to be done in a build, you know. And if I'm gonna try and upload as much as possible, the stuff I do on the truck, being a YouTuber. That's what I have to do, you know, because content equals revenue. Revenue helps get parts, helps with sponsorship stuff, things like that. So also what helps is you guys hitting a thumbs up, sharing these videos, comment below, subscribing to the channel and tell all your mini truck friends and drift friends and hard body friends and car friends and stuff and family members about the channel. So, yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If so, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel and we will catch you on the next one. Peace out and God bless.